IVBN, The Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, professional wrestling video blogs, sports video blogs, MBTA video blogs, and tons of more stuff. A collection of my work going back to June of 2014 on Facebook and YouTube. IVBN, Belica, Massachusetts. Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Saturday, January 7, 2016, no, 2017, around 7.49 in the morning, Belica, Massachusetts, waking up to cloudy skies around noontime today. The snow starts for most of eastern New England, heavier in the app late afternoon and early evening. Blizzard warnings in effect for the south coast of Massachusetts. Anywhere from four to eight inches in the Merrimack Valley. Could be close to two feet of snow in Cape Cod. Some news to report on the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Boston Celtics beat the Philadelphia 76ers by a score of 110-106 last night at the TD Garden. Also, the UMass Lowell River Hawks beat UNH by Wildcats by a score of 2-1. to one. That's about it on the news from the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 be back in the flash with my first video blog of the day, Personality Profile. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Wolf's blood at WCCO Ox and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Then the church of WPRX Channel 11 New York's got the best legs in New York City, bar none. And Wayne Claire of WHCH Channel 7 in Boston. Morning meal, I'll just, is so sweet. And she's got the best legs in Boston. Cute, leggy, weather ladies. Only on RVBN. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is my personality profile. Today's personality profile is about pro basketball Hall of Famer Gary Payton, also known as the Glove, one of the best point guards in the 1990s and 2000s. Gary was born and he grew up in Oakland, California. He played basketball in high school and his teammate was a future NBA player named Greg Foster. And then Gary went to Oregon State University, the Beavers. He was a three-time All-Pac-10 team. One time he won defensive player of the the year for the Pac-10 and also a Pac-10 Player of the Year in a senior year. He holds a lot of Oregon State University records, including points, field goals, assists, and rebounds. And he was an awesome player in college and highly recruited. Um, the Seattle Supersonics drafted Gary in the first round, second overall in the 1990 NBA draft, and Gary joined the team along with Sean Kemp, and he played the first several years of his career, 12 and a half years of his career, with the Seattle Supersonics, making them one of the best teams in the Western Conference. They always would go deep into the playoffs. Then, he got traded to the Milwaukee Bucks in the trading deadline in 2003 for Ray Allen. He was with the Bucks for a while, for half a year. Then he bounced around the Lakers, the Celtics. He got traded from the Celtics to the Hawks, but he re-signed with the um, Celtics. And then he ended his NBA career with the Miami Heat, playing for two seasons. And Gary had several good stats. Seven seasons, he had 20 or more points per game. Six seasons, eight or more assists per, uh, per game. Eight seasons, four or more rebounds per game. He played in nine NBA All-Star games. Two times he made the 
all NBA first team, five times he made the all NBA second team, and two times he was um, NBA third team. And he was one of the best defensive players of his generation, um, being winning defensive player of the year one time, and nine times making the all NBA defensive t first team. He played in two. Olympic Games 1996 and 2000 winning gold mem medals for the US team. Gary was known for trash talking and he had an open ma mouth and he had a bobbling head style. He, um, Gary did not win an NBA championship until um, the next to last year of his career which was 2006 when he was a role player for the Miami Heat. He retired at the end of the 2007 season and his career stats was 21,813 points, averaging 16.3 points per game assist. He had 8,966 assists, 6.7 assists per game, and 5,269 rebounds, averaging 3.9 rebounds per game. The Seattle Supersonics retired number 24, Gary Payton. And after Gary retired from the from the um, NBA, he went into broadcasting for a couple of years. He freelanced as a color man on NBA games on TNT and NBA TV. He did some local college basketball games in the Seattle area for a couple of years in 2013 through 2016. Gary was a panelist on FS1 Fox Sports Live. Gary is was a first ballot Hall of Famer in 2013, which ve was was very surprising. I thought Gary would wait a couple of years to get into the Hall of Fame, but maybe being a, one of the best defensive players of his generation, that helped him a lot. Gary's still involved in Seattle community. He's part of a group to try to bring the NBA basketball back to Seattle. Depending if they're going to get a new arena, they're going to be called the Supersonics when and if that's going to happen, which might never happen. But Gary really wants to be involved with bringing uh, the NBA back to Seattle. He's part of some ownership groups. He's probably a minority owner because he doesn't have the capita to become a majority owner because he, he, he he's never made over billions of dollars like Michael Jordan or a couple of other players. But he'll be like one of the co-owners. And that's about it on Gary Payton. I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus for two more video blogs coming for you. First video blog will be about the MLB Network show MLB Now. And third and final video blog of the night, which will be about the former department store in the New England area, Bradley. Like I always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Benny guy. Molly was a lot of WCCL locks and has nice legs. Elizabeth not so so stunning. She's best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. And then the Church of WPIX Channel of New York's is such a rocking cougar. She's got the best legs in New York City. Bobby Gibbs has that sweet southern accent. She's got the best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And how you want me of MLB Network. Roxanne has the best legs in the MLB Network. And in the words of the Patel last week, no pass by now.